Hello guys, welcome to your own channel, Biology in Shorts. Let's push the boundaries, let's conquer science. इस सीरीज में हम आज स्टार्ट करेंगे ब्लड एंड इट्स कंपोनेंट्स के साथ लेकिन उससे पहले कर दीजिए इस वीडियो को लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब तो जैसे कि हम डायग्राम में देख सकते हैं ये फॉर्म्ड एलिमेंट्स है जो कि हमारे ब्लड में प्रेजेंट है जैसे कि आरबीसीज प्लेटलेट्स एंड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डब्ल्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल ईओसिनोफिल बैसोफिल न्यूट्रोफिल्स मोनोसाइट्स एंड टू टाइप ऑफ लिम्फोसाइट दैट इज टी लिम्फोसाइट एंड बी लिम्फोसाइट सो ब्लड एंड इट्स कॉम्पोनेंट इट बेसिकली कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट इज प्लाज्मा एंड फॉर्म्ड एलिमेंट सो प्लाज्मा कंस्टिट्यूट अबाउट फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ब्लड इट कंटेंस अबाउट नाइनटी टू नाइनटी टू परसेंट वॉटर एंड सिक्स परसेंट प्रोटीन द प्रोटीन सेक्शन इज सो लेस दो देर आर थ्री मेजर टाइप ऑफ प्रोटीन्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन प्लाज्मा फर्स्ट इज अल्ब्यूमिन इट हेल्प इन द ऑस्मोटिक बैलेंस सेकेंड वन इज ग्लोबुलिन इट हेल्प इन द डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म ऑफ द बॉडी एंड थर्ड इज फाइब्रोजन इट प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन क्लॉटिंग एंड कोगुलेशन ऑफ ब्लड द प्लाज्मा ऑल्सो कंटेंट्स वेरियस मिनरल्स लाइक सोडियम कैल्शियम क्लोराइड आयंस मैग्नीशियम आयंस एंड बायोकार्बोनेट्स ग्लूकोज अमीनो एसिड्स लिपिड्स एंड वेरियस अदर बायोमोलिक्यूल्स द प्लाज्मा विदाउट द क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर इज कॉल एज सीरम हैं सीरम कैन नॉट क्लॉट राइट बेसिकली बिकॉज क्लोटिंग फैक्टर्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन दैम हैं सीरम कैन नॉट क्लॉट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ओके द प्लाज्मा विदाउट द क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर इट इज कॉल एज सीरम राइट देन द सेकेंड पोर्शन इज फॉर्म्ड एलिमेंट्स इट It is basically the cells present in blood, so it constitute about forty-five percent of the blood. It can include erythrocytes, that is RBCs, leukocytes, WBCs, and platelets. RBCs. The RBC stands for red blood cells. RBC is red blood cells. It is the most abundant type of the cells that is present in the human body, constituent about five to five point five million. per millimeter cube of blood it is formed in the bone marrow and nucleus is absent in rbcs they are mostly biconcave in shape biconcave okay it has iron containing complex protein called as hemoglobin hemoglobin quantity is about 12 to 16 g in 100 ml of the blood and it is responsible for the red color of the blood the life span of rbc is about 120 days and it is destroyed in spleen right then wbcs that is white blood cells it constitute about 6000 to 8000 per millimeter cube of blood WBCs are divided into two portions that is granulocytes and agranulocytes in granulocyte it include neutrophil eosinophil and basophil while agranulocyte contain lymphocytes and monocytes uh, we will see further WBCs in a bit detail and third one is platelets that is thrombocytes these are the cell fragment from um, made from megakaryocytes Uh, about one lakh fifty thousand to thirty five lakh millimeter cube blood uh, platelets can be found in uh, per millimeter cube of blood. It involved in the coagulation process of the uh, body. And third one here WBCs. We are going to see it in bit detail. so wbc is that is white blood cells it helps in the immunity basically of the body so they are divided into two types that is granulocytes and agranulocytes so granulocyte include neutrophil eosinophil and basophil while agranulocyte include monocyte and lymphocyte the neutrophil uh, wbc is are the most abundant uh, wbc is while basophil are the least abundant 
neutrophil constitute about 60 to 65 percent of whole WBC's portion and their main function is basically phagocytosis that is they kill or uh, they uh, destroy uh, the old cells or the infectious cells lymphocyte it constitute about 20 to 25 percent of the whole WBC's the main function of the lymphocyte are immune response there are two types of lymphocyte uh, that we have seen in the diagram in the uh, last page that is T lymphocyte and B lymphocyte right third one is monocyte it constitutes about six to eight percent of whole WBCs uh, they are mainly responsible for phagocytosis reaction both neutrophil and monocyte both have the uh, both are involved in the phagocytic reactions only and eosinophil it constitutes about 2 to 3 percent of the WBCs they are mostly involved in you know treating infections and allergic reactions and fifth one it is basophil it constitutes a very small portion in the WBCs that is 0.5 to 1 percent only and they are mainly uh, involved in inflammatory reactions they secrete various uh, uh, chemicals we can say like serotonin uh, heparin etc histamine yes so these are the five major type of the WBCs that are present in the human body just uh, remember the sequence because they are sometimes asked in the competitive exams that is neutrophil lymphocyte monocyte eosinophil and basophil right so if you like the if you love this content do like share and subscribe to this video thank you